If you've played Subnautica, you know very well it has its fair share of glitches. Sea dragons glitching through walls, bugs that allow you to glitch through the floor, and among them, one glitch I would like to talk about in particular. Sometimes, when you are forced into a hard surface by a creature, by your submarine, or by any other means, you randomly fly out in a random direction at tremendous speeds. This can happen to the player, but it can also happen to fauna in Subnautica. At first, it may seem random, and in some cases it is, but there is also some explanation to why this glitch happens, and it has to do with physics. In this video, we're going to be diving into why this glitch happens, and then, based on this knowledge, we're going to be seeing if we can replicate it. It gets pretty interesting at the end, so be sure to stick around. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. First, it is important to understand that Subnautica is a physics simulation. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's important to understand that the goal in Subnautica is to replicate physics as we know it. The law of gravity is present on 4546b, and many other laws of physics are also apparent. But there are three laws that are most important regarding to the glitch we're going to be discussing today, and those are Newton's laws. Let me give you a quick recap of these laws before we jump right into the juicy stuff. Newton's first law states that every object in a state of rest will stay at rest, and every object in a state of motion will stay at motion unless acted upon by an external force. This is also known as the law of inertia. If you're confused, what this essentially means is that something doesn't move or accelerate unless acted upon. Newton's second law explains how the velocity of an object changes when it is subjected to a force. It tells us that force equals mass times acceleration. If you're confused, what this basically means is that the same force will accelerate a small mass more than it accelerates a large mass. And finally, Newton's third law, which will be most important in explaining the glitch we're talking about today, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This essentially means that when you push something, it pushes back, which explains why when you run into something, you bounce back. And using this law, we can begin to understand this glitch. When by any means you are pushed or squeezed into an object in Subnautica, the game breaks a little bit. This can be done multiple ways. I will be covering the ways I've seen this happen later. But anyways, when this happens and you manipulate or glitch Subnautica, an incredible amount of force pushes you into another object. Sometimes you are actually glitched inside the object. And because Subnautica is trying to emulate physics, the object you are pressed against or pushed inside pushes back, sending you flying. Since Subnautica is trying to emulate the third law of motion, which says that when you push something, the object you are pushing pushes you back, when you are glitched into something or pushed into it, the game, trying to emulate this law, flings you away. Now, obviously, this wouldn't happen in real life. But it's because Subnautica is trying to emulate Newton's third law of motion that causes this glitch to happen. Now that we understand how this glitch works, let's try and pull it off. There are multiple ways to do this, but there's only one way that's really predictable. The other ways to do this are just kind of lucky, but with the Cyclops, we can do this glitch consistently and with relative ease. Let me show you what I mean. I will note that a few of these glitches happened while I was playing the Subnautica Nitrox multiplayer mod, but they are still interesting nonetheless. In this clip, I was able to use this door to pinch myself into the Cyclops, which ejected me into the Lost River. This one is a bit confusing, and I'm not entirely sure what happened. I was kind of minding my own business when Subnautica decided to fling me to the moon. If you're wondering, if you travel up for a long period of time and reach about 10,000 meters above the ground, you enter a place where you cannot move. You are stuck at the very top of the world. And that's what just happened to me. Subnautica launched me so far and so fast that I entered the very top of the world. The sea dragon Leviathan loves to glitch through walls. In this instance, it ended up with him being thrown into a near-Earth orbit. Okay, so in this one I was trying to record some background for a video and the sea dragon in the background just randomly got absolutely launched. I have no clue how this happened, but it's the fastest I've ever seen anything get launched and it scared the crap out of me. I suspect you might have been messing with a wall. In this one, someone I know messed a little too much with the doors of a cyclops. In this clip, a reaper pushed me hard into the ground, which sent me flying all the way to the void. I was unfortunately in my prawn suit at the time, and I sunk to my ultimate demise. I tried to repair the prawn suit so it didn't explode, but eventually it did and the ghost leviathan got me. Thank you. 
I have absolutely no clue what happened in this clip. It's just one of those Subnautica moments. These have been a few clips of times this has randomly happened to me, but now let's see if I can do this on purpose. Here, I was able to use this door to eject me an incredible distance. In this clip, it might not look like anything happened, but although this didn't launch me, it launched the Cyclops hundreds of meters away from where I originally was. It also turned the Cyclops sideways in the process. In this one, a similar thing happened, only with a different door. I think it did a full 360 as well. When I hopped out, the Cyclops was traveling so fast that it killed me. After messing around and getting a few of those watches you saw earlier, I discovered you could launch the Cyclops by doing the following. There are tons of clips of me launching the Cyclops this way, but for the sake of time, I can only show you a few. Here it goes to the vice and decided to take me for a ride. And then he wanted to do it again. This glitch where I could launch the Cyclops led me to launching the Cyclops all the way to the void, and then eventually so far that I wasn't even in the void. I was beyond the void. It was pretty epic. The engine of my Cyclops eventually exploded and that was that. This also explains why when you spawn in multiple leviathans and they are all pretty much inside of each other, they are pushed away and sent flying. And yeah, those are all the different ways to do this glitch. It's pretty entertaining. I'd recommend trying this out for yourself. I hope I taught you something, but I also hope that I entertained you while I was at it. Let me know in the comments section below what glitch you want me to cover next. Do you want a part 2? Any questions or concerns? Please let me know. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton, plus it's free. Help me reach 3,000 subscribers as fast as possible. Check out my other Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero content, you may like it. Check out my Discord server, Twitch, and Patreon. The links are in the description. Thanks to my patrons, King Nocho, Sir Lord Mister, and Charles of Old Action Man. Become a patron and support today, and I will see you guys in the next video.